Did you do or say something lately that you felt really guilty about? Well, no longer. Because today we are going to discuss whether guilt is good or bad and how to stop feeling guilty using 5 simple steps. What's happening self-helpers and welcome to Self Help Yourself, the number one self-help channel dedicated to becoming the best version of yourself. If you are interested in living a positive, happy and stress-free life, then consider subscribing and turning on bell notifications right now because this channel is dedicated to improving you in any aspect of your life. So you cheated on your boyfriend or girlfriend. You cheated on your diet. You screamed at your spouse for something that they weren't actually responsible for. And now you're thinking to yourself, why did I do that? Why did I say something like that? Could I have done things differently? <sighs> now I feel guilty about it. What is guilt? Guilt is an emotional response that we feel when something we do or think runs counter to the way we think things should actually be. So is guilt good for us or is it bad? When it comes to emotional health, there isn't necessarily any such thing as a good or a bad feeling. All of our emotions comprise the most primitive part of our brain. Guilt has evolved to help us make choices to stay safe in the world. The problem is our emotional operating system and how we embrace guilt in today's world doesn't actually gel well together. Like anger and jealousy, it's hard to address and feel guilt. When it comes to evaluating guilt, it's our underlying beliefs that matter. If your guilt stems from a belief that is realistic and helps you move towards your goals, it can be incredibly helpful. Like feeling guilty about not joining the gym or asking someone out on a date that you have a crush on. So just understanding guilt and its aspects can be highly advantageous and bring you one step closer towards overcoming the negative feelings that you have associated with it. Guilt can also be contradictory and irrational. You accept the fact that you make mistakes but you also want to please everyone and be perfect. You cannot have such double standards and expect to be emotionally happy. It doesn't work that way. Remember this. Write it down and stick it up somewhere if you have to. When guilt is fueled by irrational beliefs and other unhealthy emotions like shame and embarrassment is causing you to feel down and not leading to any productive behavior, is causing you to feel locked up in the past and preventing you from focusing on the present, it is unhealthy. So in essence, you could say that guilt in itself is good whereas its other negative aspects like shame and embarrassment are bad. So how do you stop feeling guilty? We are now going to learn how to tackle those lingering negative and irrational thoughts that never seem to go away. Now this will be a process oriented approach and I suggest you write down things so that your actions and your thoughts become clear to you and you can initiate change that much easier once you become aware of what you are actually thinking. Here are the 5 steps to overcoming guilt. Step number 1. Recognize, label your emotions and acknowledge the guilt that you are actually feeling. To better understand your emotions, I suggest you study The Wheel of Emotions by Robert Plutchik. I've linked it up down in the description box below. Research states that we are better off confronting our emotions rather than ignoring or suppressing how we feel at any given time. Many times when we're down, we feel confused about how we actually feel. Is guilt the only emotion you're actually feeling right now or are there other negative feelings like shame and embarrassment? Once you start to understand and label your emotions, you'll be in a position to acknowledge and accept the fact that you're feeling guilty, which will be a very powerful step towards confronting it. Step number two. Find out when the guilt started. Find out what incident or incidents led up to the feelings of guilt that you're experiencing now. Ask yourself, 
does this feeling repeat itself in one or more situations that you're in are there situations in which you tend to feel more guilty than others describe these situations and write down what thoughts and feelings you went through during them step number 3 reflect on the guilt asking yourself these three categories of questions a is your guilt helping or hurting you sit down with yourself and think about how you're feeling consider whether your emotions actually make sense to you for example if you're feeling guilty about not going out with your friends because you have an exam to study for your guilt may actually be doing something positive and guiding you to make the right decision which will benefit you in future on the other hand if your guilt is based on some unsustainable belief that you need to be perfect all the time please your friends and still get good grades it's not going to work out b examine the thoughts that underlie your feelings and consider whether they make sense asking yourself am i being rational or not for example is the way that i am thinking realistic would someone who cares about me think along the same lines about this situation as i do c can i do something about it if yes do it now if not consider moving on anyway start noticing how your interactions influence the way in which you interact with the world soon you'll find parts of your belief system that are actually worth changing always try and have realistic expectations for yourself step number 4 if there is truly a reason to feel guilty then consider changing your guilt into remorse guilt is necessary to tell us that we did something wrong however what's healthier than guilt is remorse which has an element of change within it so even if you cannot undo the past permit yourself to make amends and change yourself if your guilt is justified give yourself a strong reason about why you should forgive yourself when you start to see guilt as merely an emotion that allows you to perceive the world and your role in it it becomes much less scary and becomes possible for you to feel the emotion without feeling that intimidated by it step number 5 be mindful about your thoughts stay positive and engage in positive self talk say things like i am overcoming my negative thoughts i will persevere i am now a positive person i will overcome my past problems my future is bright just repeating such positive affirmations to yourself for a few minutes every single day can be a great step towards thinking more positively and dealing with guilt effectively to learn how to make effective positive affirmations for yourself watch my tutorial on positive affirmations and how to make them now remember extreme feelings of guilt can be indicative of anxiety and depressive disorders so if you're feeling that you cannot overcome this on your own and it's beyond your capabilities then consider seeking professional help from a psychiatrist or a therapist friend you realize that guilt is necessary because it serves a particular function and that is to realize human error we all feel guilty sometimes and that's the truth we need to be wary that guilt can transform itself from being functional to dysfunctional if we let it linger in our mind for too long and let it dominate our lives you don't have to keep blaming yourself Remember that there are consequences for every action and decision that we make and that we're far from perfect. So don't get bogged down and keep feeling guilty all the time. Stop being a prisoner of your own mind. So for whatever reason you locked yourself up in the first place, remember and keep in mind that you hold the key. So set yourself free. You will now move on and you will make amends. Enjoy your new guilt-free life because you have now grown from the experience and you are now a better person. The past is history and your future is yet to be written. So go out there and make it great. We now find the defendant not guilty.
So guys, if you have any ideas on how to deal with guilt effectively, make sure you leave them in the comments and leave this video a like if you found it useful and share it with your friends so that they can deal with their guilt effectively. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because we are going to make your life positive, happy and stress free. This is Vikram signing off and I will see you in the next session.